But what is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and I've been very excited to do this video for a very long time. Welcome to part one of my Xbox 360 dashboard walkthrough where we scroll through the tabs rapidly and look at all the things that it offers. This will be a 40 part series in five minute chunks and uh, it's going to be glorious. I'll be giving away an Xbox dashboard, not the system, not any games, just the dashboard. You can put it up in your living room, in your bedroom, on the ceiling, in the bathroom, in the shower, wherever you want. You get cool things like pictures of Batman, like pictures of Bradley Cooper lying on the floor, like pictures of ghosts in people's jeans or whatever the heck that is, of very fuzzy World of Warcraft footage mixed with guns and ugly girls with too red of lipstick and Sam Fisher. Actually, none of that is true. Except that I am excited to do this video. That's the only true part so far, uh, so we'll get started here. Game of the Year is a very important thing for me. And even, even before I did YouTube, I would always pick my Game of the Year with my brother. And, like, we talk about it, I'd, like, write it down and pick it. And, I don't know, we just have fun, like, thinking about what our favorite games of the year were. So what I thought I'd do, in preparation for my Top 10 Countdown, which is what... Whoa, those guys are flying. Look at that. Whoa. Some magicness going on. Um, In preparation for that, I figured I would... Before I make my top 10 countdown, I'd play some of the games and then sort of record myself playing so you get the, the impressions as I go back and play things. And we're going to start here on Xbox 360. Um, I'm going to be playing a couple games in this video. And I will be making PS3 ones as well. It's just too it's too difficult to, to combine PS3 and 360. So I'm going to try to do 360 stuff from, from kind of chronological-ish order, not 100% perfect. And then some PS3 stuff in kind of chronological-ish order. Blah. This is going to be a few episode series here. Blah, blah, blah. Starting off with a glorious game that, when I played it, I surely thought was um, a... Gosh, I just... I don't know what's going on, but was, my thrower was like, about to stop. Um, I, when I first played this... Sorry, gosh. I um, I thought this would be one of my games of your top couple. And then, as summer passed, I th forgot about it more and more and thought less and less of it and worried that... Maybe this game wasn't really as good as I thought, or maybe it really wasn't as magical as I thought, or as special as I thought. Um, but thinking about it again lately, as I really tried to like go through games for Game of the Year and things like that, made me really like want to play the game again, really want to play more Dead Space, um, and really want to have this be one of the top games in my countdown. Not to say that it will be, um, and not to say that I'm picking favorites or anything, but I just it made me want to play this first and have it be the first title that I checked out here. Um, as we please wait to check save games. Should be able to um, pull up just a random level here. I'm hoping, I'm trying to think. I don't remember how all the saves work, but we're connecting to a lot of different networks and things of this sort. Um, the cool thing about this series is you're going to get to see lots of different games, things that you might have missed, things that you might not have seen, things that maybe you wish I, uh, wish, uh, things that maybe you wish I played or you didn't get to see me play or things like that. Um, single player, can I load, what do I have save-wise here? You know what I mean? So it's kind of a cool... A cool-ish thing. I could do a new game plus, but I don't really want to do that. So we're gonna load. Uh, I've only got severed, and I've got chapter one. What should we do? Severed shouldn't really count because it's Dead Space Severed, right? And chapter fifteen is really close to the end of the game. I can't believe I don't have more saves. This is my fault, and why you should really save a lot. Um, where does this put us? I don't know. I just want to see. I'm guessing this is way towards the end of the game, which is not good, but uh. <laughs> Oh, uh, and I have to insert disc too. Boo hiss, boo hiss, boo hiss, boo hiss. Um, let's try to hang on. Ow. Hurting myself. Bad things happening. Let's see where this puts us. Let's see where this puts us. This year is definitely, if you can still hear me, I'm trying to be loud. This year is definitely the year of multi disc games from LA Noir to Dead Space to Rage to everything else. Skyrim, how does that game all fit on one disc? Some of you would argue because it's so dang buggy, but um, I don't know. All right. I'm guessing this is going to put us right at the end of the game, which is probably a bad place to be. I should have created more save files along the way. Note to self for 2012. Mass Effect 3, especially. Great. Lots of saves. And I think I'm getting chased by... This is, this is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Welcome to the end of the game, everyone. <laughs> Where everything is terrible. And scary and loud! It's so loud in my ears! I've got surround sound headphones turned up, and it's, uh, really freaking me out. Okay. Oh, God! Hello, oh, this guy. I hate him. Yeah, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. 
We're not, we're not, oh, jeez. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Okay, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, okay. Good golly, Miss Molly. I see how it is. Um, instead, what we're... <laughs> Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new game plus and hopefully skip through some stuff. Um, can I just load like randomly in the game? Or should I load Dead Space Severed? Because it's basically the same thing. Let's load the beginning of the game because it'll make me remember like bring back all the emotions. And some of you have not seen the um, the beginning of the game or have not seen me play the beginning of the game, so. Um, we'll put it up to survival. Actually, let's play on normal here, just for the sake of this. And I know I'm far away from the mic, and I pop. Whoa! Here we go. I didn't know it could play off disc two like this. That's kind of cool. Oh, I can't. Wow! What do you know? All right, so this is a sloppy start. Dead Space Two. You're losing points. No, just not really. But um, sorry about that. I didn't. I didn't. I thought I had many more saves than I did. So we'll check this out. I don't want to play severed because that really should not be considered as part of the game for Game of the Year. And any things that that does do or doesn't do, I don't even really want to put in my head, my brain space right about now. Okay, so I'm probably going to do three games in this video. Um, and then we'll make another one in a day or two. And I got to go through and just give you my thoughts. Dead Space 2, what I really liked about it, I really like the combat. I'm not really a fan of horror games, but this kind of made me like really love that feeling. Um, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because there are points where I'd like terrified to play the game. I remember being sick when I was playing half the game and commentating sick and my throat was like, Wah! and that made it all the more memorable. Um, but I really like the story in this one. I really like the place they took you. I thought that it was really, I really liked the city. Um, you know, some people thought that Come Dead Space 1 was a little bit more cohesive being on the entire um, airplane. Um, but I, or airplane, spaceship, but I really like this one, traveling to all the different locales, from the church, you know, to sort of the, the nursery area, to some of the more industrial places, it really was cool, and I thought there were quite a few good set pieces. Uh, I don't remember, like, specific huge events, as much as I remember things, I remember, um, the end of the game, which I don't really want to spoil, I remember some stuff with the crazy guy that I don't really want to spoil, um, I remember certain monsters and, and some, some battles that I can, I can pinpoint in my mind and cool moments and like victorious moments and I think something that really gets me about Dead Space 2 is I like the feeling of like feeling like you you are beating something and like you really feel victorious why is it not let me skip this freaking thing could I please skip the intro movie here um instead this will kind of just be my time to dialogue about the game I guess why is it not let us skip this I think because it, it transitions directly into game play so um some of the, the mental Stuff that they have going on is really cool, about your and uh, I really like the graphics. I think it looks really good. I think it's a really pretty game. Um, I like the use of stasis. I like all the powers. I like all the guns. Um, I'm not sure I like the final battle. Um, that kind of made me sour on the game slightly. Um, but seriously, this is um, this is one of the best games of the year, and I really, 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 really like it. Um, so I'm excited to get in and just check out check out the beginning of the game. And I have never finished Extraction, which kind of makes me sad, but, um, I wish I could skip this. It won't let me skip it. If I hit Checkpoint Restart, what's that going to do? Please tell me it's not going to redo the, the game here. Oh, no! Okay, I'm going to skip this in the video. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Ah! Oh, so this is the game. That's the amazing face-ripping technology demo right there. As we uh, run away from all the bad guys and get scared to death, death. I remember shaking because I was playing this at midnight, like at night, which was like not a good idea, and just being absolutely terrified. Um, I know that a lot of people died in this, uh, oh god, died in this part, and I don't remember dying. Um, I know I didn't die, actually, but so a lot of people I heard like on podcasts and things did die in this opening section, which I thought was very strange. Like, that guy, hating on me with his tentacles coming out of his mouth. Oh yes, this game is rotten. Man, I kind of wish I commentated this later in my career, because I could have made it even more exciting. Um, I still was a newbie when I commentated this game here in Chapter 1. 
And so I'm sure there were some things I did that weren't really the best. Um, <laughs> oh, Dead Space. I love this. We'll get a couple minutes in. Uh, I know this is the beginning parts, but you can still get a sense of the atmosphere and the, the tissues there. And um, it's a great game to take slow. I kind of, in some ways, would have liked to play the game by myself just because then it would be... Uh... Oh, God. Ow! That's a gun. I got to move. Hey, whoa. But they're getting eaten alive, so it's okay. I saw, in some ways, would have liked to play this game like quietly by myself, um, just because it's so eerie. But in other ways, I think I had to talk through. Otherwise, I don't know that I would have survived it because it's so freaking terrifying. And uh, oh god, bodies are falling. God dang. Chidman, one of the evil guys, um, who you know is more than he seems, or less than he seems, or whatever. By the end, but there's some good twists here. Strauss, the crazy guy. You'll like him. If you haven't seen this game, go. Up. My series is here. You can go find my playlist. It should be on my channel under playlists, um, so you can find that if you do want to see lots more Dead Space 2 gameplay. I do with the full series, but I really do like this game. I really think it will make my top 10 list. I'm not promising anything, not promising an order, but it is bringing back lots of memories. And the way I feel right now is just like, ah, this guy is crazy. Oh my jeez. God, that so gets me. Everything still gets me. I played this almost a year ago. Man, it doesn't seem like it, but I can't believe this game came out so freaking long ago. Oh, it's a great one. God, losing it, losing it. Just, just cut me out of this straight jacket. No one's getting out of here alive. Alive, don't do it. Thank you, kind sir. You're bleeding, There's or you're no just bloody. From what I've done, <laughs> take All it right. easy, buddy. Just take it easy. Guess what? He's gonna kill himself right in front of your faces. Sorry for the spoiler. Your rig is red. It's red. It's a health pack and a flashlight in that wall locker. And this is where things really get going when we start to pick up equipment. We'll go get all of our tools and uh, weapons shortly here. He's about to make himself a spaghetti mess. Yeah. You're making me nervous here. Want to see what he's going to do here? We're all going to burn for what we did to you. Oh, yeah. That's a little much. Children, I'm sorry. Okay. Um... Hey. Hi, the clock. Is that you? What's up, pretty girl? My name is Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? Sure What's you are. What's going on? You're suffering yep. from a unique form of dementia, <laughs> Isaac. Something you contracted on age seven. How do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. Okay. If you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Fuck. Just follow the route I'm sending you. And now the elevator is going crappy. And uh, she's about to give us, I mean, we're going to wrap this up and move on to the next game. But just so you know, she's going to give us a bubble bath and cut her hair and make us some cake. That's what she wants to do. So, um, yeah, this game is terrifying. It's so good, though. It's so good. Oh, my gosh. And I played it so long ago, and this room is terrifying. I remember being scared horribly in here. I know where it's coming from, though, so I'm not going to be creeped out this time. But, this room is terrifying. Ready for it? Ah! Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, my. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Okay, where's the exit? Right through here. That's something? No. Hey, guys. Don't spook me. Like, you're just anticipating. You're just like, oh my god, this you, you, this is going to be bad. It's going to be so bad. And then it just is okay. Um, I'm not sure why I'm saving. I'm probably never going to go back. Well, I may actually before Dead Space 3 finishes. The rumors are Dead Space 3 is on an ice planet. It seems kind of strange, but okay. As we go through industrial things. Ah, it's air. Compressed air. And he's losing it. That plays a huge role in the game. That plays a key, key role in the game. 
And one of the best parts of Dead Space 2, crawling through tiny shafts in first, nearly first person. All right, that's enough. Boop. Okay, we are uh, we're gonna move on to another game here, and we're gonna keep this live and uncut. Um, I'm gonna mix it up with a downloadable title now, um, and uh, that way we can do we'll do retail, downloadable, retail, because I am gonna have a downloadable game of the year. They're not gonna be considered for the top ten um, countdown, but they are gonna be. Um, I am gonna have a downloadable game of the year. So we'll go to my games here, and we'll find one from early in the year that I really liked. But that's Dead Space 2. Um, my, my thoughts right now are that it's going to be in the conversation. Um, as I go on with this little series of Game of the Year stuff, um, I'll, I'll give more thoughts of what I'm thinking and what's up there and whatnot, and then you'll see the full top ten countdown, and I'll make a video for each one. Up until the final two will probably be the same video, because I don't want to, sp you know what I mean, I don't want to spoil... Um, I don't want to spoil everything or, you know what I mean, make it, like, if I get down to one, you'll know what it is, basically. So, we have games like Costume Quest I really liked, but I don't think that would be game of the, downloadable game of the year. Fruit Ninja Connect I really liked. Um, Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet was okay. Lim was Limbo this year? I don't think so. Um, NBA Jam, Microbot was really good. NBA Jam and Fire Edition was really good. Outland was pretty good. Shadow Complex is my favorite downloadable game of all time. Super Meat Boy. Swarm. Um, Iron Brigade, which is uh, some what's what did it used to be called? Trench. That's right. It says it right there. Read the screen. Um, okay, Super Meat Boy came out this year, right? This was released in 2011. Yes. I believe so. No, maybe so. No, this is last year. Darn it! Why am I, what am I blanking on here? Um. So, what's a good Xbox Live Arcade game that we could check out for downloadable game of the year? I got like Rascals. I did kind of like Outland, Microbot. Um. From Dust. I like Costume Quest. But I think that was last year too. We'll learn it. We'll play a little Bastion. Because this is this year, and I did really like this game. Um, and I know that it is a fan favorite of a lot of people. Uh, both in the industry and just people people. Um, I'm maybe looking at my email right now because I'm setting up for a glorious, glorious day tomorrow on my birthday. Um, where I have something awesome for you guys. I'm pretty excited about it. And we're getting like a blank screen of... Oh, there we go. Okay. So, this is Bastion, came out in the summer of Arcade, and um, by Supergiant Games, I believe they're called, very small team that designed this game, yeah, Supergiant Games, designed this game all by their lonesome, and did a very nice job, it has a unique narrator, which is kind of the uh, the selling point, um, I'm not even very far in the game, it was part of Summer of Arcade, and I was kind of trying to play all the Summer of Arcade titles, um, so I didn't get the farthest that I would have liked. Um, let me know if you like the length of these these Game of the Year videos. I think I'm going to keep them between 20 and 30 minutes. It should give us a good chance to look at three games in, in not too much depth, but also not too much um, shortness. And I still remember the look on his face after that one. A lot of the uh, a lot of the games I have played before, so you can find more information or more videos like from me, um, you know, in the uh, in my playlist or in my channel history. Some games that I'm going to show you I have not played, um, and those will be kind of even more interesting. Most of them I have though, so we're going to venture off right away. Kid ain't finished here yet. No, he ain't finished here yet? Okay. So, I don't remember exactly where we were, but we clearly got a crystal. We need to open up a new finished, building. But the new world's just getting started. And I'm not even going to build the armory or anything right now. I'm just going to go... The Bastion ain't going to build itself. Oh. Well, not entirely. Okay. So, well, he wants a forge. Weapon upgrades. Beautiful. And there's upgrades available. We'll go in here. need fixing up in this world. Yeah. And we can start right here. Something stringy. I have a lot of things, and I could give us more damage. Um, the Fang Repeater I like. These are all locked. So, whatever. I'm not even going to do this. I'm just going to go play a level. Alright. Take me away. To the Skyway. Alright, those are all cleared. We'll go to... That's a Proving Ground. That's a Proving Ground. Hanging Gardens. There we go. Um, art style is really cool, and 
Um, it, it's a light action RPG with a good combat system, but the real, I think, selling point is the narration as well as the graphical, visual, artistic style of everything. Um, simple yet well done and very polished. Uh, and the way the world builds itself around you, falls apart around you. Um, some really the pretty dead instances. Welcome him with open arms. Ouch! I just crushed that couple. Good night, guys. And the, the music is good. Took everybody after all. Got a nice sword here. Got my bow, as you can see. Can charge up for a power shot. Got. Oh, those are. I don't know why I just put down mines or something. Oops. Um. Hang on, let me see. Oh, fall off the world. Good idea. Um. Okay, right here I can't change my equipment because I'm not at a place to change it. So. That's just glorious. What are the buttons here? I'm trying to remember. Kids, he's a plane. Frozen faces all around. There we go. Okay. You don't much care to see him. Not like this. All right. Poor guys. They're all frozen. Han Solo. What happened to you? That's a secret hint. Um. Okay. So. These Bastion. folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. I like. Is it? A, is it a, when you when you don't finish a game? Is that a sign so that shouldn't be considered for game of the year? Kind of I don't know. Like to me, it doesn't. I don't know if that's necessarily necessarily true. But in some ways, I do it at it points. Someone like him. Okay. At points, I do. Oh my! Look at that guy. At points, I do feel like that because like you didn't finish it. In the flesh, it's a snag or two trying to get to him. Maybe you shouldn't. He ain't about to stop. No matter what. You know what I mean? Like, if you didn't finish it when you played it, was it not good enough, or is it because other things came out? There are lots you of games so I feel like... After all. Lots of games I feel like, you know, were good um, in years past, last year especially, man. And with the holiday rush and things like that, or in the summertime, there was quite a bit in the, in the summer, um, you, you really feel like you can't get to everything. Time for answers. And so, when, when that's the case, um... Does finishing a game really the prevent it from being something that you really like? I don't know. I don't know that I, I agree. I, I don't. I don't know that that can be said. They it seems kind of foolish. Like the walls. But I think that just Nor because you didn't finish a game away. doesn't mean it cannot be considered for a game. Of the year. We're gonna wrap this up soon. You're getting a good feel for this, and it is a downloadable game, so I don't really want to spend the jaws. too much time with it. It is a cool game though, and I do recommend it to everyone. If you have an Xbox and you want to find something cool to play, if you miss this, it's a great way to spend whatever it is, 10 to 15 bucks, and get a good full experience um, for yourself for the holidays. What is this? Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Or a sigil. Okay. Alright, let's go and see what's up. Um, good multi-weapon combat. As you can see, the world builds itself around very vast difference think, in level style, which is cool. Without that man, we wouldn't be here right now. Yeah? Would we? Hey, guys! What, what does this do? Is that a bomb? Oh, okay, it's a sweet bomb. Boom. You're gaining XP, doing he all sorts of stuff. To do. Give me that core! And then? And then, and then what? I guess we'll keep playing just what for some more fun gameplay. Uh oh. Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. What's he say? We have to go. <laughs> Please. Let's do. Third and final title audio glitch. Of course, that's good. Had a lot of those this year in random games. Um, gonna hopefully eliminate that problem in 2012 with a second recording device. Oh. Hello, Zolf. He's a proper gentleman, that man. Okay, anyway. That's enough bashing. Last no game, what is it gonna be? Are you a strong Folks like him may never been a common sight. Let's see, I'll show you. The third game we're gonna check out in this video here. Um, yeah, this video is a little bit random. Yeah, it's a little bit sporadic, but it's kinda cool in the sense that you really are just getting a sense of, of my thought process for game of the year what I'm doing, what I'm looking at, and it's kind of just like a game night with Ghost Robo. Me and you, just playing some games, different games, checking them out, talking about random things, like my dog who was walking down the sidewalk randomly. I drove away from my house, 
And here's my little dog, my miniature poodle, running away. And I'm like, where are you going? She just like walking on the sidewalk as if she's, you know, going to the park or something. No, no, no rush, no urgency, not even running in the street or like going crazy. Just sauntering down the sidewalk like nothing is wrong in the world. Bullet Storm is a game that came out this year. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. I can chat for select here. How about Forbidden Zone? Um, or let's do, let's do Burnout Paradise. Yeah, uh, that's not good. Um, we'll do chapter the dam? I don't know. Paradise Lost, here we go. No. What should we do? Fine, Forbidden Zone. Great. That's fine. Um, okay. This game was kind of the... Mm, not kind of the... It was basically the beginning, uh, or, or one of the beginnings of the, like, very stylistic shooter that's heavy based on score, heavy based on pizzazz and spectacle rather than just shooting. Uh, it takes kind of conventional conventional structure and makes it unique with its different kinds of guns and different kinds of weapons and different ways in which you can use those weapons. I mean, that's what makes Bulletstorm stand out. And it's something that I really enjoyed while I played it. After playing, though, it's a game that was easily forgotten. And then perhaps it's because the character to me is kind of forgettable. The storyline is kind of forgettable. Yep. But um, and that makes like me you problem solve is a real treat. forget about quite a bit. Lies a hint of truth. It's, it's a good-looking... Um, Yet you still reek like sun-baked asshole. Ew, it's a very rude game. Uh, uh, it's a very, uh, and we have Robot yeah, Ishii, you always creep down. me out if you remember the playthrough. I did a full playthrough of this. Creeps took my um, it's a pretty game full of color, so and uh, it's not very varied, which I guess kind of bothered me in terms of like you're doing a lot of the same thing. And I found myself constantly trying to use different um, attacks and trying to make different combos as opposed to them just coming naturally to me. Um, which, you know, for better and worse, kind of. Yeah, I think I do. As long as you do it quiet. So there's lots of prompts and kicking and doing things like this. And we're about to kick this over and awaken the bad guys. As you can see, that wasn't so quiet. Bam, bam, bam. Got this leash that can leash guys and this whole building is falling down. It's crazy how stupid you are. She's really hey, not. At least we don't have to whisper anymore. Alright. Let's go. Drop kits for upgrades and things like that. Not even gonna bother right now. Okay, so we got guys everywhere. He's like, push towards you before he goes ahead. You could, you could very easily get through the game regularly doing that. Um, but it was much more fun to. Okay, too fast. Much more fun to leash guys in the air, kick them, blow their brains out, and then uh, change weapons all at the same time. You know, we've got different things going on. Um, what's my other weapon I have here? Switch weapons? How do I switch guns? Why can I not switch guns? What is going on? Switch guns? Do I not have anything else with me? Really now? Am I blanking? What is... Come on now, controls. That's a stick layout button now. Yeah, switch weapons up on the D-pad. Okay, apparently I don't have any, uh... Apparently I don't have anything. Get on your head! Die! You melon! I've nominated you for pustule control. The yeah, aggro reflex, that's good, okay. Um... So, it's a pretty cool game. Um, I don't, I, just my gut is not, I'll, I'll look at everything. I'm obviously, even after I do these videos, I'm going to write down my thoughts and kind of, I like to get very organized and like make lists and things like that. I don't think this is going to be one that's going to make my top 10 list. You never know for sure. Um, it's a cool game, but I don't know that it's it's one that like in five years will, actually in five years I may remember this game just for the unique systems it has, but I don't know if it's one that really is deserving of a game of the year spot. Just because a game is unique or, or makes you see something in a new light doesn't mean it's a fantastic game. It just means it's a it's a it's a memorable one. And that's the thing as well. Memorable versus good. You could a generic game that's really well, well produced and really done, it. you know, could that is is that something that you should uh, consider for game of the year? Or how exactly should that work? We do have a no drop. I we drop it. No, we don't. Got crumbling, crumbling, dude. Ah! All right. 
Sometimes demolish is the only way through. Exactly. Whatever. Drop is detected, so we leash in. Um. Oh, I only had one gun at this time. Apparently, or something. I don't know. Um, what should we get? The flail gun? Thank you. I'm not sure if it's because I beat the game and so it's like going... Being weird with me or what, but um, I'll unlock a couple of the guns here. Just to remember what they're like. And, um, do some stuff and stuff. Hey, little buddy. Get points for everything. There's these giant man eating plants. The murderous mutations wasn't included in the brochure for this vacation hell world. Yeah, I ripped him apart. Sounds give away their location. Life on world is mutated. A lot of it's sentient. Here we go, run and jump. Rums, right? Okay. <laughs> so, Bulletstorm was a cool game, and, and uh, it came out at a time where it, it could thrive and succeed. Had this came out, ouch. Had this came out like now, I'm not sure it would have done so well, you know what I mean? Um, like, had to come out in the holiday season, I don't know. I don't know that it really would have been, been the greatest. Um, just because uh, it, 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 it doesn't have a marketable character. Or really a marketable storyline, which is something that I feel like a game needs to succeed in the Holiday Rush. Hey, buddy! Boom! So that's awesome. Well gun them for the kill. Um, there's also like this guy like hit it around his neck, and then I can switch to another gun. Headshot him, and then he blows up. Cause I'm crazy, like that. Okay. And there's things to blow up, things to do. It's a pretty good game. We're going to wrap this video up here, the first episode of my Game of the Year Musings, my Ghost Robo's Game of the Year, Epic Cossity Celebration, Dance Marathon, Festival of Fun, Circus of Values, Christmas of Lights, Seasons of Seasons. It. How about you, Trishka? Shooting this down is the way to go here. And here comes this ball. And it blows a hole in the door. Um, I remember that taking me a little bit of time to beat. Uh, again, the Bulletstorm is a game I did do a complete playthrough of, so you can go and find more lovely Bulletstorm gameplay. All of Bulletstorm gameplay. Um, that you want to find. Radiation. They tried to get the tourists out, but there was... <sighs> There's some... Not really bosses. I don't know. A couple bosses. Hey, guys. Light them on fire. And then I can come kick this guy. Afterburner. Boom. Smart mind. Gang bang. Don't try that at home. Okay. Um, this game is kind of fun. It is, it is a pretty cool game. And uh, you can then make a, a real mess of guys. And that's kind of the, the joy of the game. is just making a mess of people. Um, and, uh, let's, let's make a mess of the like button here. I really think this is a cool series. A lot of people don't really focus on Game of the Year coverage, and I really want to make it a big part of my channel for the next couple weeks here. Um, I am going to be doing a top 10 countdown. I am going to be doing a, a much more, um, a few more of these using videos, at least three or four more of them, um, to get through, like, PS3 games, and maybe even some Wii titles that might be in a compilation of Wii and 3DS, because there are some 3DS games that really are seriously con contenders for my top 10. You may think that sounds ridiculous, um, but there's two games in particular, Super Mario 3D Land and Mario Kart 7 I, I think are just ridiculously fantastic. Um, so, without further ado, uh, we're going to wrap this up. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate all your support throughout the year. I hope this kind of a series is something that you enjoy and that you're kind of a fan of um, because I, I really like it. I really always like thinking about Game of the Year type stuff and stuff. There's going to be a bad guy coming out of the store, a boss type character. Wow! He hurts. He hurts me. And I have to leash his balls. Kick him back in, buddy. Because he kills me. I think I can kick this back in my thing. <laughs> jerk. Okay, so we gotta get around him. Okay, kick this thing. Kick it, kick it, kick it. Boom! Oh, uh, let's go play. And then the shoot. Boom! Alright, so, 
as you can see, there are uh, some boss type characters, although none of them are really, I mean, there was one or two, I guess, boss bosses, but, um, hey, take a kick in the face, Something like that, um, so I know I've tried to wrap this thing up like four times now, but I actually am going to wrap it up for real this time, and, uh, that is whiplash for that guy, thank you guys very much for watching, a fantastic day, it's a pretty cool game. Uh, it makes me very reminiscent and nostalgic for Enslaved, which is one of my favorite games of 2010. But, that is all. Thank you guys very much for watching. Fantastic day. Until next time, guys and girls, I'm Ghost Roll. We'll drink some hot chocolate. Stay tuned for Game of the Year Musings or whatever I end up calling this video part two soon. Until that time, though, we'll see you all later.